Promotional consideration paid for by the following. Get all your latest professional wrestling news and updates. AEW, Impact Wrestling, WWE, NXT. Live viewing parties with eWrestling News fans. Don't miss out. Go to eWrestlingNews.com today. The best damn wrestling site on the planet. I've been watching wrestling for over 30 years. Professional wrestling is in my blood. Inside this box, there are thousands of professional wrestling cards. So many legends and superstars have come and passed. While some still have a long ways to go. These cards are a true testament of time for every bit of blood, sweat, and tears. Today we take a look at the 1987 World Wrestling Federation Tops card set on this exciting episode of Superstars with Cards. The Classics. The Rookies. The Legends. Wrestling cards are back, bigger than ever. Game Infuse Empire presents Superstars on Cards. Alright folks, welcome to Superstars on Cards. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the uh, 1987 World Wrestling Federation Tops Card Set. Lots of classic cards we're about to take a look at. Uh, but first, let's head over to the Wrestle Vessel for the Top Wrestling Cards of the Week. It's time for another Russell Vessel Report. Top Wrestling Cards of the Week. Of the week. Welcome back here to um, the second episode here of um, Wrestling Cards here with the Wrestle Vessel and Aftershock as we're going to show you some classic interesting cards. Um, today I'm going to go over some of the, uh, the WWF Superstars of Wrestling ice cream cards. Now, um, unfortunately I don't have it. I don't even know. What year did they start again? Was it 87 or 88? Something like that? Unfortunately, you know, I was just born in December 86. I don't have anything that far back, but um, you know, I started liking wrestling around like 92. So I probably have wrestling cards dating back um, from the summer of 92 and on. And um, I kept some of the cards. Like there's one set that I got complete set. That I think that was the 94 version or maybe it was 93. Okay, we'll go through those cards. So this one, one year they did a theme. It was called My Toughest Opponent, okay? So the first one I have here is Yokozuna, and he says his toughest opponent has been Hulk Hogan because he had to take on all the Hulkamaniacs as well. So they made 12 cards in this set. I have all 12. The second one was Lex Luger. And Luger wrote, my toughest opponent has been Yokozuna for 586 reasons. You know what that is. Pounds. <laughs> uh, next one was Crush. Crush also said his toughest opponent was Yokozuna. Because of the weight, agility, and Mr. Fuji. So Mr. Fuji plays a tricky factor in that, okay? Our next one is Doink. And this is like, you know, when he's like looking, it's like Steve Kern with Matt Bourne. And he said, my toughest opponent is myself because only Doink can beat me. And that's no joke. <laughs> the next guy was Tatanka. He said, his toughest opponent has been Bam Bam Bigelow because he's the most agile big man I've ever faced. So there's the, 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 the Tatanka one in the middle. Um, next one's Bam Bam Bigelow. He says his toughest opponent was Andre the Giant because he was the biggest man he ever faced. There's Bam Bam against Andre. Um, Bret Hart says my toughest opponent was Andre the Giant because he was too big to excellently execute. So this is interesting because um, this match actually, they had no footage of this until um, my friend the United Kingdom Richard Land found it. And he posted it on his YouTube page and then the WWE stole that video. <laughs> And used it on the Bret Hart unreleased DVD, the, the Dungeon Collection, which is pretty funny. But this is actually a footage of that match, like years before. We actually had footage of it. Okay. Um, next is next is Undertaker. He says his toughest opponent is Papa Shango because he knows the power of the dark side. Razor Ramon says the bad guy's toughest opponent was Macho Man Randy Savage because he got the same attitude when it comes into wrestling. So there's Razor against Macho. 
And then we have three more cards from that set. IRS says his toughest opponent was Razor Moan because he doesn't know a good deal when it's offered to him. Says Irwin against Razor. Savage says his toughest opponent was Andre because he defended his first World Wrestling Federation title. So his first title defense was on against Andre the Giant. I remember that was actually the um, the day after WrestleMania 4 or two days after something like that. Mr. Perfect says toughest opponent was Bret Hart because they're both raised in wrestling families. You know, like Larry Gag standing and Stu Hart. So they both came from families. And that's that whole set of the toughest opponent ones. And then I have some of these um, these other cards that were released like in 92. So it just kind of says like um, just little quotes or what your greatest moment was. So there's a couple of different ones of Bret Hart. There's one of Ric Flair. There's another Savage. There's one of Perfect. There's one of Hogan. So they kept making these cards for years. And, you know, the Superstars of Wrestling Ice Cream Bars, I think they made them until 04, 05, 06, something like that. And then sadly they disappeared. And CM Punk really wanted them back. And one last funny thing, you can even see on, on the back of some of my cards, I guess you see some of the old ice cream from the cards. All right, so this is the Wrestle Vest Report. I hope you guys enjoyed um, those unique cards of the um, WWF Superstars of Wrestling ice cream bar. Have a good one. All right, got some awesome stuff from the Wrestle Vest over right there. Uh, welcome back. And uh, once again, in just a brief moment, we're about to see the 1987 World Wrestling Federation card set. But let's get some uh, inside information on this card set from Zan Morning from Wrestling with Cards. Let's head over to the Zan Morning and uh, hear some awesome facts about the 1987 World Wrestling Federation card set. Live from the Wrestling Card Control Center, Wrestling with Cards at very own. Zan Morning! Morning! What's up wrestling fans? I'm Zan from Wrestling With Cards on YouTube. Today we're looking back at another awesome wrestling card set. And it's a set that's near and dear to my heart because it's the very first cards I ever opened packs of and ever owned. The 1987 Topps WWF Wrestling Cards. These cards feature some of my favorite card designs of all time. With some of them, you've got the American flag border that's just classic. And then some of my even more favorite, the ringside action cards, and some of the others feature ring ropes and the blue border. It just makes that image really pop. There are also iconic key cards in this set, similar to our last video with the 1985. The 1987, you kick things off with a bang. Number one card in the set, Brett the Hitman Hart. This is his rookie card considered by most. It's a very awesome looking card. You also have the first ever official WWF card because in the 1985 it was a sticker but in the 1987 you get the first ever Andre the Giant official WWF card and there's many other great cards and great photos in this set similar to the 85 tops the 87 tops also features stickers however these stickers are have quite the different design than that 85 top set the images used on these stickers are generally the same ones that you can find in the base card set However, the background is this kind of red color with these floating WWF logos all behind it. It just screams 80s wrestling to me, and it just makes the images really pop. I absolutely love these stickers. So get ready to take a trip back to 1987 and experience these awesome WWF wrestling cards from Topps all over again. And when you're done with this video, make sure you head over to my channel, Wrestling With Cards on YouTube, for even more great wrestling card content. Enjoy! Alright, here we are folks. We're going to be checking out the uh, World Wrestling Federation Tops 1987 card set. Uh, this card set is 75 cards. Now uh, this definitely, definitely is like the pinnacle of the golden era of professional wrestling in 1987. There were so many things going on. And of course it was probably one of the biggest WrestleManias of all time. You had WrestleMania 3 at the Pontiac Silverdome, 90, over 93,000 fans, and there is no doubt in my mind that there was a legitimate 93,000 fans inside that stadium. And uh, let's take a look at what we have here. We have Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant. During this time, it was a huge feud, the biggest thing going, and of course, he had the, one of the best looking World Wrestling Federation heavyweight titles during that time. And, uh, lots of history going on during this time and let's uh without any further ado take a look at what we have here 
All right, let's make sure the camera is focused so you guys can see this nice and clear because this is one of the best car sets that you're going to be able to see right here. All right, so right away on the first page right here, we have uh, Brett the Hitman Heart on top, number one card with the uh, old school World Wrestling Federation tag title. Uh, one of the best looking titles of all time right there. That title is really, really nice looking. And then we have a uh, Andre the Giant card right there. And this is definitely during the time where Andre the Giant turned heel. And we have a Hulk Hogan when he was in his prime right there. Uh, we even have a Frankie uh, card right there with the bird. And next to Frankie, of course, you have Coco Beware. And Frankie belonged to Coco Beware, just in case you didn't know. Uh, there was definitely animals, quite a few animals during that time. There's uh, Matilda, Damien, Frankie. Uh, we have Tito Santana right here. We have Randy Macho Man Savage right here. Billy Jack Haynes, Hercules, and Bobby the Brain Heenan. And, uh, so far, the uh, aesthetics and the looks of these cars are not bad looking. They have a red, white, and blue theme. It's uh, quite interesting, and uh, they look quite nice. They're not bad. There's nothing gaudy or nothing crazy about them. They actually look pretty good. And uh, the backs of the cards right here, they look pretty much the same as the, uh, the 85, 1985 card set. Okay, so we have a King Harley race card right there on top. And uh, we have a Kamala card. And Kamala was another great heel in the WWF during that time. And we have a Dino Bravo. And um, a Greg the Hammer Valentine card right there. I had to read that closely. And of course, when I look at it, you can recognize them right away. Honky Tonk Man. That's around the, honky, that's around the time where Honky Tonk Man first uh, made its debut. Got Outback Jack, King Kong Bundy, Magnificent, the Magnificent Morocco, another great underrated wrestler right there, Mr. Fuji and the Killer Khan, and then we got Butch Reed right here, it's another great wrestler. All right, we have Davy Boy Smith, the Dynamite Kid. And uh, of course, those two are definitely my old, some of my all-time favorites right there. We got the British Bulldogs. That was a great tag team. We have a uh, Ricky Steamboat right here, and of course, he remembered the Ricky Steamboat and Macho Man match at WrestleMania three. That was like one of the best matches of all time in WWF. All right, we have the uh, two-man clothesline by the Hart Foundation. We have Danny Davis wearing his ridiculous trunks right there. And uh, they're, they're, they're pretty much they're, the wording on that card is the referee turned into a wrestler. Originally he was supposed to be a referee, but uh, that didn't work out so well. And then we have uh, Damien and uh, Jake the Snake Roberts. And then we have a card that says in the Outback, and I'm not exactly sure what the hell is going on in this card. I'm going to have to read the back of that card. Okay, that's Outback Jack, and it, it says that he's in Australia. So that's Outback Jack. That card, if I would have never read the back of that card, I would have had no idea what the hell is going on in that card. That was really interesting. <laughs> now we have, we have a great... Hulk Hogan card right here when he was in his prime with the uh, one of the better looking world titles. That's the uh, what I would consider the '87 WrestleMania three world title. World, world title, excuse me there for a second. And uh, just have a close up look at that title. That title is one of the best looking titles of all time. Definitely a great title design. And Hogan was the only person that really wore that title because he held on to that title for so long. And uh, there was an extra large version of that title that was designed for Andre the Giant 
in the event that Andre the Giant won. And then we have what's called a double whammy right here. I believe those are the, uh, let's see, the Feb, the Fabulous Rujos. Okay, those are the Rujo brothers. And then we got some of the Samoans right there on the top right here. Now all those Samoans, they derive all the way back to like, around that time in wrestling. You got guys like Roman Reigns and the Usos that are direct, directly related to those guys. It's, it's pretty crazy. And then we have more Samoans right here. We got the flip flop, whatever's going on there. It looks like the, uh, the Rujo brothers. And we got the Islanders, and that's what they were called back then. I believe they were called the Islanders. And then we have King Harley Race. And the uh, WWF was known as King Harley Race, and there we go. We have Hercules breaking a jobber's back in half. And oh my god. He's gonna have to see a chiropractor after that. Oh my god, look at that, he's breaking his back. That looks very painful. We have a double drop kick right here. And these are uh, the Can and Connection. And then we have King Harley Race disgracing one of his opponents right there, make, making him kiss his feet. And we have the uh, Hulk Hogan American Maid carrying the flag right there. And then we have another Hulk Hogan uh, card right there where he's kneeling down next to his belt, pointing up. That's a pretty good looking uh, photo right there. That photo is actually great composition. Uh, they have some really, really good uh, shots in these uh, cards right here. So the, the photos that they captured, they did a really, really good job. And that's another great Hulk Hogan capture right there with the uh, nice look at the uh, world title. That's If you like world title belts, uh, that that specific card right there is actually quite nice. You can see the title belt up close quite well. And uh, you have Hulk Hogan down the next card. Listening to the uh, Hulkamaniacs. They're, they're running wild, brother. And they're right, really loud, crazy sounding. And then the next card we, we have Coco Beware. And the fans are just as loud with Coco Beware. You see right there the, all the fans sticking their hands out. Back in the 80s, the uh, the uh, pops that you get from the crowd back then was quite legitimate. Like the fans would run crazy over all the uh, baby faces. And you have Demolition. Two Demolition cards right here. And Demolition was a great tag team. Now I'm not exactly certain how the, uh, the photographer managed to take that picture, but that is King Kong Bundy about to fall on the mat. And he looks like he's levitating. That is pretty funny. And somehow they turned that into a, a card and it says Bundy in midair. That is quite the clever card right there. And we have the karate stance by um, that is Ricky Steamboat. We have Miss Elizabeth. Miss Campeter, I believe. Let me just make sure I got the correct. That's Campeter. And then we have a uh, Butch Reed on top. And then we have a flying body press right there. And it looks like we have, what, 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 what is this? Is that Hogan? Can't quite make that out. Oh, that is Butch Reed, okay. And that is a killer bee. And uh, I believe that the Iron Sheep does not like the killer bees. I'm pretty sure I remember him in an interview going crazy about um, somebody in the Killer Bees. I forgot who it was, but the Iron Sheik. Well, probably we might see Iron Sheik cards next. Who knows? We have a variety of different WrestleMania 3 cards. And of course, WrestleMania 3 was one of the biggest events of all time. Uh, we have the legendary uh, Ricky Steamboat Macho Man match right there. We have Hercules choking the crap out of Billy Jack Hayes, I believe that's who that is, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like the Honky Talk Man's getting tossed around like garbage over here. And uh, the same thing goes for um, 
Danny Davis, he's being tossed up in the air like a piece of crap. <laughs> Look at him, he's upside down. And then we have Hogan and Andre the Giant. I believe that is the moment that Hogan slammed Andre the Giant. The Giant is slammed, yep. So the photographer managed to catch that. And you can see like the actual muscle and Hogan's legs like bulging out because he literally had to pick up that big man, Andre the Giant, seven foot four. And that is insane. And we have more Ricky Steamboat Macho Man over on the top right here. And that match was definitely the best match of the night. And of course we have Hogan, still world champion. And the Pontiac Silverdome running wild, going crazy. And we have um, the Hart Foundation and Johnny Davis being tossed outside the ring. And we have this iconic moment where... Andre the Giant rips the cross off Hulk Hogan's uh, chest and he cuts his chest with the cross. That is the moment right there when that happened on Piper's Pit. And we had Jim D'Anvil Nightheart doing a bear hug, breaking that guy's back. Oh my god, he's breaking his back. And then we have the fantastic body press right here. Who are these guys right here? This is Rick Marteau, Can Am Connection. And it looks like we have more can on connection over here. It looks like it. We have uh, aerial maneuvers. We have the killer bees. And uh, we have the Hart Foundation right here showing off by Jimmy Hart. All right, we have the, one, of the, one, of the, one of the demolitions up there on top. I can't quite tell which one's which because they have the mask on right there. Uh, we have Ricky Steamboat. And we have a George the Animal Steel card. Now in the 1985 set, there is quite a few George the Animal Steel cards. Uh, in this set, there looks like there's only a few. We got Jim the An Anvil Night here, and we have Outback Jack. Another George the Animal Steel card. We have a Kamala card. Another uh, Demolition card right there. We have uh, a... Honky Tonk Man card with uh, Jimmy Hart. And they have these uh, comic captions in them. This is trying to make it look a little bit more funny. And I'm not a huge fan of the design on these cards, to be honest. They have like a weird looking TV. And it, it looks like a TV. That's the, that's the way it looks like they try to make it look like. And it, it looks kind of gaudy looking. It looks okay. And we have three more cards over here on this side. All right, we have another Honky Tonk Man, and then we have all kinds of weird stuff going on here. What is going on here? We have a lot of guys in the ring. And that looks like there might be an Iron Sheik right there. Oh, Matilda, I can see the British Bulldogs right there. Okay. And who do we have here? Is that Outback Check? Oh, Mr. Fuji. I guess it's Mr. Fuji. And that, and that would be the uh, 1987 Topps card set for the World Wrestling Federation. And uh, that is an interesting card set. I would say it has some really, really nice Andre the Giant cards and Hulk Hogan cards. And um, pretty good card set. I actually liked it. And that's definitely during the pinnacle of the golden era of professional wrestling. That is definitely around the time where uh, professional wrestling really, really took off. Like, definitely like WrestleMania 3 was a huge deal. And here is our next potential episode. We have a Royal the Wrestling Federation Classic 1990 History of WrestleMania card set. So we'll have some more WrestleMania moments in this card set. 150 cards. So stay tuned so you never know what you're going to see on our next episode of Superstars on Cards. It could be some uh, WCW cards. It could be some WWF cards. You never know. And uh, don't forget to check out eWrestlingNews.com and uh, Wrestling with Cards YouTube page with, for more wrestling card content and also the Wrestle Vessels YouTube page down below. There's the link for more awesome wrestling content. Take care and have a great day.